Hello, fourth grade. Today you will be writing your very own sequencing paragraph. But before you do, we need to get some of your thoughts down on paper first and into your graphic organizer. So we want to think of a set of instructions or a simple task like a recipe, um, maybe setting up Legos or steps for completing a chore in order for us to begin writing our paragraph. So we want to have four different steps to make sure that we fill in the entirety of our chart. And we also want to make sure that we're using the clue words that we see highlighted in red here. What I've decided I would like to do is how to start a bubble bath because taking bubble baths is one of my favorite things to do. So you might want to do something that interests you um, or that you enjoy doing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with my first box, and my first box is going to say first, right? We want to use one of those clue words. First, I start the water and make sure it is hot. All right. Then what's the second thing I do? I want to use another one of my keywords. I think I might use um, next, comma, I plug up the drain to make sure no water leaks out. All right, and what is the third thing I do, the most important part, which is throw in my bath bomb, right? So um, then, comma, I throw in a colorful bath bomb for bubbles and a great scent. All right, and last but not least, or finally, you could say finally or last, finally, I jump into the tub and enjoy, right? So here I have four steps for beginning your bath. First, I start the water and make sure it is hot. Next, I plug the drain up to make sure no water leaks out. Then I throw in a colorful bath bomb for bubbles and a great scent. And finally, I jump into the tub and enjoy. I think this will be a great start uh, for my sequencing paragraph, which I will write next. You will also be filling out a sequencing graphic organizer today. Good luck.